Navarre South African Terroir Wine Awards honors the wines which truly portray South Africa's different wine growing areas. This competition crowns the best wines brought forth by different soil and climatic factors in the different areas. It is one of the world's most exclusive wine competitions because of the wine of origin rules that apply here. Thank you um, and thank you everybody for joining us uh, on this momentous occasion today. Um, that is the 15th um, year of the Novari Terra Wine Awards. As already mentioned, um, this is a particularly important milestone in the history of our company, which is Novari. And uh, today we are celebrating 20 years of existence. And obviously, what better way to celebrate it than with a glass of uh, Terra wine uh, in your hand? The best uh, from the Cape. We are aware, as has already been mentioned, that um, we, are, we live in unprecedented times, and the wine industry in particular has been hard hit. Um, obviously, there's nothing worse than uh, producing something, uh, but because of lockdown, and, and lockdown is obviously because of what's, um, uh, what is uh, happening, you cannot sell your product. Um, uh, and we really hope that the worst is behind us and we can return to life as normal as, uh, as we know it. We too, as a business, have not been... Uh, have not been spared. Uh, we also have been impacted, but we could not help but ensure that uh, we continue this great tradition and this great partnership. And um, uh, we come here to celebrate uh, irrespective of the challenges that we are facing. And to that extent, let me just take this opportunity to thank uh, the judges, uh, to thank the participants. Without you, there's no Terra, Novari Terra Wine Awards. And let me also take this opportunity to congratulate all the winners and we look forward uh, to enjoying your wines today, if not today, some other time. But I can assure you, we will be tasting or drinking all of them at some point uh, this year. Uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And please enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Uh, that's my bit for today. Fifteen years ago when we started with it, uh, we felt it was very unique, a very unique competition. Uh, we all loved, loved wine and loved wine at the time. And we thought it's a it's, it's very unique competition. Uh, terroir, looking at the different factors that plays a very important role in the making of wine, we found that very interesting and also supporting you know, smaller wineries. I think some of the winners that we see is not your well-known uh, brands out there that the, the man in the street really knows, so I think it gives the, the winemakers and the, and the wine farms uh, some very good exposure and also for the public you know, to identify good quality wines. Yeah, the judging process is, uh, is quite a challenging process because we taste uh, all the categories of wine, which is uh, unusual, but uh, also very rewarding because uh, when you taste all the categories, you get a perspective of all the wines of a particular vintage. And I really look forward to this tasting. It's probably one of the most important tastings for me each year. And uh, the organizers don't overload the quantity of wines that we taste each day. But we do come, come back day after day to taste them, and, uh, and I find it uh, very appealing. And um, we have five panelists uh, that are uh, from di different sectors of the industry, and uh, they um, come together and we do a little bit of a calibration up front. And uh, this year we were in general agreement uh, after our calibration process, and I think we came up with some really good wines uh, that reflect their terroir, sense of place, and uh, I've just gone through them and pretty pleased with, uh, with the results. We'd like to welcome all the winemakers, Novare guests, and especially Novare management to your own function today, and uh, we, we, we're very glad that we can be here, all of us can be here today. Special thanks also to you, all the wineries and winemakers that entered this competition. I walked through the tasting earlier this afternoon. It's good to see all the new entrants, and I think that's for us as, as the Wine Show Association. It's, it's good to see that there's people watching this competition and starting to enter this competition. We need marketing material, and a wine competition like Terwa today gives us that marketing material. I would really like to urge you, present today, guests of, of Novara and everybody, to spread the news and to help us to, give the, to get this industry moving again. I've learned in my career um, that you cannot worry yourself out of a crisis, but you can surely market yourself out of one. 
help us to market the winning wines today. And, uh, and this will help to get this world-class industry, this South African industry, back on, on its feet. And we recognize Novare as a partner to the industry, and we are grateful for your financial banking. So, a record number of 32 certificates today for 32 different national winners. Cabernet Sauvignon and the national winner is Bartenay Cabernet Sauvignon, Renel Witt. Come slide us a brief by us on. Thank you for the judges. Um, I think it's brilliant that you chose the Bonga um, Cabernet Sauvignon as the national winner. Lots of vineyard, um, vineyard work goes into it, canopy management, open up of canopies. Um, we have no west-facing vineyards, so we have to make sure that everything gets right before the autumn sun just disappears. Um, the vineyards are tucked away north, northeast, south facing, and it's a lovely challenge. I like a challenge. And the resulting wines, I think, shows maybe not that very heavy, full, over sturdy tannins that one is used to Cabernet, but it has sort of an elegance and a sort of quiet power about it. And I think like all the, all the wards in Stellenbosch, we are blessed with fabulous soil, so um, we are part of that. Um, thank you very much. Novar, I th Novare, I think there are very few um, wine-related sponsors that hangs around for so long. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you for for die toekenning. Um, ja, die, um, die stokke wat geplant is in 1973 al boom, piekeniersloof. En um, dit is, uh, ek denk, een baie ou uh, area, is nogal redelijk baie ou bosstokke, meestal op maakstok nog geplant. Um, die terroir is verweerde sandsteen, en uh, um, ek denk al hele area tot by Sederberge is redelijk, uh, maar sandsteen uh, gebergd is. En um, Pikeniersloof um, ja, is een baie, ek denk, unieke area en ook in die sin, laat ons omtrend ons hoogste wingerde so 750 meter boe seespiel. So ek denk dat dit gee ook baie vaarsheid aan die wijne. Um, en die sin so, um, ek denk vir alle sy ouwe raak, en, dan neem sy hy toe in concentratie. Uh, die korrels wat reeds baie groot is, raak hem al so klein bykie kleiner met die boostokke, so... Uh, Ek dink, uh, uh, Bostokke is by uitstek een goeie, goeie sin sou maker. So, uh, baie dankie. Baie klein kellerkie in Brederkloof. Um, ons doen maar net 50 ton a jaar. Um, ja, so ons is van aan die kant die berg, soos wat ons sê. Um, hierdie wijn is net 3000 borrels a jaar. Dit is maar ons tweede oosjaar, wat ons maak daarvan. Um, en hy is 50 maanden verouder op sy gismoer. En op eindiglik is dit nou 26 maanden borrel verouder het ook. So 100% charanei, um, daar is geen hout, hy is net stadistiel gefermenteer. Ja, so dit is die wijn, baie dankie. Where is the vineyards? We work with different vineyards throughout the industry. So, um, right this block, Pinotas, first of all, I want to thank the farmer um, and co-owner, Anton Roos. Um, it's Saltbush, it's a farm in the Bredekloof. So, um, but it's high up in the mountain. The vineyard sit, uh, is situated about 650 to 710 meters above sea level. And it's on uh, decomposed granitic soils. And it runs basically as a finger from the farm, um, from the north to the south. And it's got a southeast to a northwest slope. We do a lot of work in the vineyard in the sense of when we're picking, I walk through that vineyard probably five, six times while we're picking. We pick four different sections. Um, to make the wine because the northwest hang more warmer, the southeast part of the vineyard cooler. And um, yes, we're quite proud, uh, Pinotas producers, and quite proud to, to be the award uh, winner here for Pinotas. Thank you. Yeah, so Stetain is a very small family based cooperative winery. Um, we established the award in 2017. I've been watching the Navarre. Uh, SA Awards, and uh, luckily I remember this year to enter. And um, yeah, our Chardonnay Pinot Noir, our Chardonnay is situated uh, in the basin of the Bossefeld, which, uh, which is uh, nestled between two biomes, which is the Overberg crossing over to the small Karoo, 
towards Vista. So all different uh, types of soils. Uh, the Chardonnay is the, the specific Chardonnay is our first block that's harvested each year in the end of January, situated on medium deep uh, brown Karoo soil. And then the uh, Pinot Noir is harvested early uh, in a rosé style, around about 20 and a half. Um, southern aspect on scale, uh, sedimentary rock. And uh, yes, uh, thank you for, 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 the, for, the, for the opportunity and, and for the awards. And it's, it's a nice function. I like it. So Springfontein, if uh, you don't know, it's, uh, it's a wine estate which is uh, in a very small village uh, called Stanford. And Stanford is just outside of Amanas, about 25 kilometers uh, outside of Amanas. It's, it's a very unique uh, wine estate. I say unique uh, because, uh, as far as I know, it's probably the only farm in South Africa which is under limestone. It's 600 hectares, the whole farm, and we have 30 hectares under vines. And uh, Chenin Blanc uh, is a single vineyard, and this particular vineyard is uh, planted nearly on a June. And we are very uh, lucky that we have not only the limestone swells, we have the Atlantic Ocean, very close by, very cool microclimate, and this makes a big difference. Lots of wind. You know, a lot of people say wind is manufactured in the overbeck, but this wind for us works to our benefit because it also means then we don't need to spray so much in our vineyards. We have lots of fine boss, vine uh, uh, fine boss bushes which are planted around our vines, and from this fine boss we get very special yeast, which is indigenous yeast which we use to ferment our wine. This is a very special single vineyard wine which is Jules June uh, Shenin, 2016 vintage, a very special vintage for us. We worked very hard to try and select specific bunches when we produced this wine. The fermentation was done with indigenous yeast, and really, I think if I look back and I look at how much work we put into this, it's not so much work in the cellar, but work in the vineyards, and that's what terroir is about. It's about respecting the vineyard to bring the quality into the wine. Bertus, how did you decide to plan today's meal for this amazing event? So, so Benny, we, we leave it to the last moment so that we get the best ingredients possible. And luckily this week we had some yellowtail. So it's beautiful, fatty yellowtail, fresh from the west coast. A little bit of avocado, cucumber, uh, Chinese radish, and a bit of coconut, like a really fresh, simple dish. And also a dish that will work with, with, with most white wines, we would think. And then for the main course, we had to go with beef. You know, it's, it's, it's a bunch of winemakers, you know, and they, and they love eating. We know them all. So a bit of red meat, uh, great beef, uh, mushrooms, cauliflower, and a little, a little uh, sauce thickened with beef fat, and a side of Dutch's potatoes. And then for pudding today, I've always loved the idea of sort of having um, sweeter wines, and especially um, Chenin Blanc. I'm a big Chenin Blanc drinker myself, with the flavors of, like, um, of, of, of apricot and stone fruit. So the dessert today is all about stone fruit, which is coming into season now as well. So it's very simple. Just look at what Mother Nature gives you, and you cook with that. Now, this is the SA Wine Terroir Awards. Do you also have the same feeling about food terroir? 100% Benny, and, and, I and I think living and cooking in Stellenbosch gives you exactly that. We've got amazing eggs, amazing chickens, you know, wonderful fish from the coast that's quite close to us, obviously a wonderful wine culture, and, and it's easy to cook from where you are, and, and obviously we also love a bit of foraging and, and those sort of things. So in the winter, if you come to our restaurants, all the mushrooms will be picked in the forest and, and those sort of things, but it's very important to show people who you are through how you cook, and also, and then obviously you show people where you come from um, with, with what you cook with, and that's, that's very important. There is no better way to enjoy wine than to have it with a great meal. And what you guys did today to us was to make us so happy and to let us have an, a most amazing meal. Thank you very, very much. Round of applause for you guys. And that brings me then to the trophy winners. So it gives me great pleasure to announce the Navarre Trophy for SA Terroir Top Wine Estate for 2020. It goes to... Lawrenceford Wines in Somerset West, Hannes Nell. I think it's a, it's a great honor and privilege, privilege obviously for us to, to win this trophy. Lawrenceford Estate in Somerset West is probably one of the most beautiful estates in, in the country, if not the world. Um, it's uh, surrounded by mountains, so we benefit of the cool sea breeze coming in from the Atlantic Ocean, cooling down the vineyards. So we're about five to eight degrees cooler than the rest of the Stellenbosch region. And that 
exactly help us to make uh, beautiful wines with uh, lower uh, pH, higher acidity, and just uh, lifting um, that uh, typicity of the, of the terroir on, on the estate. Dames en heren, die Nuware Trofee vir Zuid-Afrika's top terroir producent gaf een jaar in 2020 aan een splinternieuwe deelnemer, Stetijn Wijnkelder, J.M. Kravort. Well, it's an absolute privilege for Stetijn Winery to be acknowledged uh, as a top producer in a, in a very uh, uh, well-respected competition in South Africa. Um, being nestled between two biomes, uh, Overberg and, and the small Karoo, we've got very unique terroir and uh, I absolutely believe that the, the wine is produced in the vineyards and, and it comes from the soil. So we are just there to shepherd it into the bottle and to the end uh, user. Quite interesting, if you go and count, there were no less than seven single vineyard wines being national winners this year. And the top wine for single vineyard is the 2014 Lawrenceford Semilon Noble Eight Harvest. Hannes, noch eniki for you. Yeah, it's a vineyard that's very close to my heart. Um, it grows next to the Lawrenceford River on Lawrenceford Estate. Um, we always say, you know, wines, we start making wines in the vineyard. Actually not true. We start making wines in the soil. And it's so true for this award as well, is the Tawar Awards, and Tawar means the soil, the microclimate, and everything that influences it. And this wine, um, the origin is, is in the soil. If we have balanced soils, we'll have a balanced vineyard, we'll, have, we'll make a balanced wine. Uh, with the Noble Late Harvest, there's a bit more challenges. Um, we need to get the, the Noble Rot, the Botrytis and the Rera in the vineyard, and we can't achieve that every year. So we speculate a bit with this vineyard which is making it extra special to, to produce this special wine. The second last trophy goes to the Novare Terroir top area. So the top area would be determined by the national winners in a particular area. And today, this goes to the Groenberg Ward in Wellington, and we were going to ask Linton Park and Misha Wines to come and collect, but unfortunately, Johannes got a crisis at the cellar. So, Zania, sal jy as mevrou Wellington, dan nou vir ons dit asjeblief kom en ontvangs neem. Baie geluk. Groenberg in Wellington is die area winner vir 2020. Um, I think what makes this... Um, just a little bit extra special for us. The, the Wellington region is a young region and the wards have only been um, demarcated in 2016. So Grunberg has only been um, demarcated since 16. Um, and the wines have only been produced as wines of origin Grunberg since then. Um, so it's quite, quite um, rewarding to be, be recognized for, for the region and for the work that's being done specifically in Grunberg. There is a final taste of after all the national winners for the top wine of the SA Terroir Awards. So, the judges have spoken that the Novara Trophy for SA Terroir Top Wine 2020 will belong to Springfontein Single Vineyard Jules Dune Shannon Blanc 2016. Tariru Masaiti, congratulations. What a wine. You know, I tell you, winning this award, I can never express it in words. It means a lot for a farm uh, that's working so hard. We, we are organic, and everything that we do on the farm really is. Uh, done by hand, it's, uh, it's, it's more a reward for all the hard work that all the men and women working on the farm are doing. So this is really a celebration and a reflection of the success that comes when we respect nature. This is also Shenin Blanc, and Shenin is the most planted grape in South Africa. And to get success, to be the top wine of the competition with a Shenin Blanc, I think it's also good for Shenin.
but it's really great for Springfontein. Well done, Teriru, and your team back at home. Dames en heren, daar zijn. Daar is die vijf winners, die vijf trofees. Baie geluk in hulle allemaal, Derek. Jij en jou span, baie, baie dankie that we did have the opportunity to get together and to share this amazing day on the 1st of October. Thank you.